This next problem, 7.2 number 8, we have a percentage or a proportion of Americans who are afraid to fly. And we have 900 sampled. So I've already put in the P statistic, the proportion right here. So 9% is 0 0.09. Now the complement to that is 1 minus that number, which is 0.91. If we add those, we get 1. N is how many we're sampling, 900. Now we do need the standard deviation. It's the same standard deviation we computed in everything else in 7.2. So this is the square root of P times Q divided by N. So there's our standard deviation. Now, we're trying to figure out uh, if in a certain sample, if 92 responded that they're afraid to fly, uh, what is our sample statistic parameter? So this 9% here is for overall uh, of the population, which is Americans who have an opinion about flying. And here, 900 were sampled, 92 responded they're afraid to fly. So we're going to call this P hat. And it's going to be 92 out of 900. So again, just did 92 over 900, and it is basically 10%. So a little higher than the population, but not by much. So that's what we put here. Uh, it doesn't talk about ran rounding. So we'll just go put in the exact. All right, so we got that. Uh, so under the assumption the industry's uh, experts claim 9% are afraid to fly, what's the probability that the survey in part A would result in a P hat in a parameter that's at least as high as the one we found? Which means it could be higher, so at least as high. We're gonna use the normal distribution or normal dist function. So norm.dist, hit the tab key. And after this, we're gonna put in, all right. So this gets a little bit tricky. X is the value we're looking for. So for us, it's the one we just computed here. The mean is the population mean, which is P. Standard deviation, our one we just got, and true. Okay. Let's type that in and get it wrong. All right. So we got this wrong. Why do we get it wrong? At least as high. This normal distribution tells us uh, this value or lower, not this value or higher. So we want the opposite probability, so it's one minus. Uh, if I write this out, this is probability X is greater than uh, that number up there, 1.10222. Uh, so that's probability X is bigger than that. Normally, this distribution, normal.dis, gives you the probability uh, this value is less than, not greater than. So that's why we had to take the opposite or the one minus. All right, we're gonna put that in now. All right, so we got that. Usually four decimal places of accuracy is enough if it doesn't say. All right, last part here. Same assumption, 9%. Uh, what's the probability the survey would result in a P hat? that is between eight and 10%, all right, which is 0.8 and 0.10, or 0.08 and 0.10. So we're gonna do something really similar here, except I'm going to copy and paste this. When I copy and paste it, if I don't put these dollar signs in, 
these three boxes that are highlighted are going to move as well. So that's why I put those dollar signs in. So let's take this, copy, paste, paste. All right. So I want to know between 8 and 10%. So we're going to go with X is less than 10. And here X is less than 8. All right. Remember with percent, 0 0.08 is 8%. All right. We do have to adjust these. We're going less now. So it's just regular norm dist, not 1 minus. Uh, now we do have to change these around. We're same population, so it's the same mean. It's the same standard deviation and still cumulative, but the value we're looking for now is 0.10. So I'm just typing that one in. Now here the value I'm looking for is 0 0.08. So this is the probability is less than 10%. This is the probability less than 8%. We subtract these two and that'll give us the value of probability between. So big minus small right there. All right, and here we go.